Okay, we are up for school. And I don't have shoe shoes <laughs> to put on. Chelsea is ready to go. Ashley is finishing her dishes for her, which is super oh, yeah. nice. If I don't put and I'm going to go out and hurry and get Chelsea's back to school picture. I already missed Abby's. She gets on the bus first and was, she has a cold. I did test her for a fever last night and she just has a cold and I just feel so bad that she feels so yucky this morning. She went with good spirits. Chelsea, do you have your backpack? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go out and get uh, Chelsea's back to school photo real quick. Her bus comes in just a few minutes. I have to wait to stand against it. I know. <laughs> okay, you have a mask, you have your lunch, your water bottle. Yep. Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Look at me and look at me. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. This will be the last time that a parent comes to the bus stop. Yeah. I promise. my face a little bit I'll explain why I'm not going anywhere today <laughs> but it's your time to go mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay let's get our back-to-school pictures line up in front of the door right don't smile you don't seem very enthusiastic about going to school yeah. you're not are you nervous now yeah. <laughs> are you nervous to go for the first time without Chelsea where are you going Matt. Oh, good job, kiddo. Yeah, this is her first time going without Chelsea, so it's a little bit different, but she will be perfectly fine as soon as she gets down to that bus stop because there's going to be a lot of kids down there, and she knows every one of them, right? So it's not a big deal. Sort of. Sort of. It's okay to be nervous, though. That's what Daddy wanted me to tell you. It's okay to be nervous and a little bit worried, right? Because that means we're doing something new. And a little bit brave and we're not talking to me <laughs> you don't get to not talk to me at the bus stop still all right okay have a good day have fun yeah keep that mask on and obey your teacher okay I know you will I know you'll be good Just like that, I have no kids. <laughs> Actually, Kaylee is still here. She's getting a ride with her boyfriend, but I'm gonna make her take a photo. Um, maybe I'll get one with her and with her boyfriend. Got to meet some new neighbors. They just moved from around the corner, but I had never met them before. Just fun to like talk to all the parents again. And the kids are excited, and there's not as many kids on the bus this year, which is great. Normally they're stacked like three deep on each seat, and more than half the bus had only one kid per seat today, which is good and hopefully that's not just because it's like the first day and people are taking their kids, but they can separate and kind of have some distance. But it was cute because I think Ashley was getting a little nervous and kind of, not upset, but like sad that she didn't have like, like a friend at the bus stop. She does, but it's like, she's used to having Chelsea with her and guiding her with the friendships and all that kind of stuff. And the second she got on the bus, and both of her and Chelsea's best friend was in the back. She's now in fifth grade and the fifth graders can be in the back of the bus. She instantly went and sat back by her. And so gave her like, one, it gave her like free access to the fifth grade seats. And two, she finally had her best friend. And like was grin. I mean, she wasn't like, grinning. I couldn't see because <laughs> she had her mask on. But she was, her eyes were beaming. She was waving at me out the window. And so that was really fun to see that okay we've got our best friend here at school we're gonna be fine having a good time so i'm gonna get one more picture of kaylee before she heads to high school and i don't know what i'm gonna do all day no i'm gonna edit i'm gonna do laundry we are done with dishes kaylee has swept chelsea did her chores so the house it's just i'll show you i'm gonna give you a real look at what the house actually looks like so i actually went out one time with shoes so did Chelsea, so I'll put those away. But the rest of the house is pretty straightened up. They have the fire on. This is why I'm hot right now. Like, we do not need that on. I'm gonna turn that back off. But the house is all clean. I don't know if Kaylee's gonna take a lunch today. This is her little utensil kit. But the kitchen is clean. The floors are clean. Kaylee has swept the floors. The table is somewhat clean. Abby got out of doing counters last night because she kind of has a new cold. But, oh, Kayla needs to take care of her cup. And then I have 
literally one load of laundry. That is it. One load just went in this morning. I have one thing I recycle to take out. This is like I'll donate stuff or go back to Target, which I might do if I... All right, so I, I, the battery died, so I cut off. If I can leave the house today, I will run to Target. I have a whole bunch of stuff to return. And then I say that I don't know if I can leave the house yet or not because my package that I've been waiting for, it's my phone. I have a new phone coming in the mail. <laughs> and yesterday it was set for delivery, four days, three days late. And I asked one of my children to kindly stay at the house or call me if she was going to leave to find out when I was going to be home or if we were gonna have any kind of an overlap. And she didn't. And the half hour she had left the house before I came home next, which we could have avoided, my package was delivered and it required a signature. So they took it back to the UPS facility and that is 25 miles away. So that's fantastic. I'm not gonna go clear over there to get it. So I wait again today to see if it gets delivered today, which is fine, totally fine. I'm gonna work on the computer. Like I said, all the chores are done or working itself, like the laundry. So I'm gonna work on my editing, then hopefully my phone will come. And I have lots of time to reactivate the new phone and transfer the data from the old phone. So it is a, a good day to be able to get the phone. So that's why I said I don't know if I can leave the house or when I can. Other than that, my neighbors were making fun of me because I don't have a job to go to. <laughs> They were like, wait, what are you gonna do all day? This, this, they don't know. Some of my new neighbors don't know that this is what I do all day. All right, here we go. This is what mom life at home without the kids is going to be like, and I'm very excited. I'll probably be bored pretty soon, but what can you do? She's all ready for school, junior year, cute outfit, and the boyfriend. <laughs> okay, go out on the porch. Let's just get a picture real quick. I'll even get one of both of you. You would like match and coordinate. She's only cooperating because her boyfriend's standing right behind me. <laughs> have fun, kids. <laughs> no one is home. You hear that? Everyone's gone. So excited to do nothing. <laughs> Let the nothingness begin. Totally fine, it's totally fine. Guess who just came? <gasps> UPS just came with my phone. I'm so excited, I'm gonna open it up. We'll do a little, this is what mom does during the day. We get new phones and we get to play with them. Cause I'm literally to the point where I have to edit today's video. Cause I don't have anything left to do already. Like we're only like two hours, three hours into school. I need to find scissors. My kids steal my scissors all the time. I don't know what it is. Why are they so pretty? Even in the package, they're so pretty. Well, I'll show you the phone itself. But I do need to take the time to go through it all. I've got my little box that I got from Verizon right here. So I've got to um, transfer all of my data off of my old phone and onto the new phone, but I kind of need to do it like consecutively. I need to get it done, the whole process. Last time I couldn't get it done and I had to go down to the store and like have them help me. So I'm gonna go do this. I'll show you the phone here in a second. And then I'm gonna go and get it all transferred while I watch Netflix. <laughs> because that's where I'm at in my day. I am making lunch right now. I'm making lunch, I stopped to do that because I was, I'm literally like at the point where I'm uploading this video of ours from yesterday. I'm caught up and that's super nice, but I just didn't have anything else to do. I mean, I can always go to do laundry. I could clean bathrooms. I could vacuum. But why? I have like all school year. <laughs> Got white, super cute, and then the peel. So satisfying. All right, as I knew would happen, it's been hours since I last talked to you guys. Actually, maybe an hour and a half. I don't know why I don't have luck setting up new phones. I really don't. I've got the old phone here, and I've got my new phone. It's really pretty, let me show you. I got a new case for it too. So 
here's my phone. I have a new case, the little ring on the back of it, and I, I love it. It's really pretty, but problem is I can't get anything to activate. All right, so Jason has been trying to get the phone activated for me because you have to call Verizon, who we have as a carrier, from a separate phone. Well, we don't have a landline. And usually we do this kind of stuff when someone else is home, but he's at work. And so I even had to go to the length of like texting our employee, call the store and tell him to go check his messages. Anyway, he's tried to activate my phone through Verizon five times and nothing has worked. I can't call out, I don't receive calls, nothing. I can't do anything with my phone. I can text him, I can text anyone, weirdly, I don't know how. But now I'm in a dash to beat the bus. For the first time in 18 months, I have to beat the bus because I need to get a new phone fixed. So dumb. So I'm running down to the store, hoping that they'll just bypass me needing an appointment and let me just have them call and activate it and then I can walk back out and be done. Everything has been transferred. Like all of my data has been uploaded from the cloud. Everything is done. I just can't use it. <laughs> I can't call, I can't do anything with it, which is pointless. Mad dash, gotta beat the bus. Turns out I'm gonna beat the bus by a long shot. Do you notice those big huge gates across the door? Yeah, they're closed today. I guess they're closed on Tuesdays. So um, that's fabulous. And I can't text Jason because I'm not on, on uh, Wi-Fi. So I have to go home and text him to actually call Verizon, not just the Verizon activation number that I gave him, and ask what we're supposed to do. <laughs> like this is how my first day of kids being in school has gone. It was great until about one o'clock. Hi! All right. I got so busy talking to you that I forgot to film you. Yeah. So you had a good day? Mm -hmm. My bag's heavy. You got like a new binder, you said? Yeah, a new binder. And a pencil and I holder. I have something for you you have to do. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty for me to do. There's only one thing. One thing? Yeah. Okay. But I have to go get Kaylee real quick, okay? okay. Go in, uh, put your mask in the ha in the washer, okay? Yeah. Get a snack. Take out your stuff that I need to go through. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bus was 20 minutes late. So now I'm sure Kaylee is wondering where I'm at. And I have to sit here and text her on Wi-Fi while I can and tell her I'm on my way. On the new phone, use the new phone only. Okay. Leave the old phone shut off, okay? Mm-hmm. It's turning back on. Okay, the, old, the new one is turned on. Well, I'm just trying to activate my new iPhone and I guess uh, the person I was just helping with customer service wasn't able to do so. We don't really know why it's not being activated, but it's not. Okay, so I understand what you're calling in about. Uh, here's the bad news. Uh, I still don't know if it's uh, SIM card related. Fantastic. I've just, it, it, you guys, you won't even. I started the process with my phone. Um, what time is it? Seven o'clock, wow, we haven't had dinner yet. I have been on the phone for the past hour and 20 minutes. Second time with a tech person. First time with just regular activation customer support who couldn't help me. So Jason just made these chicken tenders, the ones that are supposed to taste like uh, Chick-fil-A, but apparently Kaylee and her boyfriend ate all my Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm so mad. It's usually in my drawer right here, like all my extras. Ooh, 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 yes, they didn't see this. Sweet. We got yeah. Oh, that's ranch. We got one, one Chick-fil-A, two Chick-fil-A's, that's mine. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it for myself. Okay, so I gotta make a vegetable. Gotta like try and make this <laughs> like a healthy meal. Uh, we ran out of salad, well, no, I have, ooh, I could do Caesar salad. I have romaine lettuce. Okay, so let me give you the rundown of my phone. I've got, I'll make Caesar salad. Um, I actually have fresh Parmesan. Sorry, I'm kind of having to kick into mom mode because it's so late. Um, Ashley, I need you really quick. You had a good day? Yeah. Okay. I'm hungry. Now I'm kind of late on like back to school night. So I had um, lunch at 10. Yeah, so you should be very hungry. You should have a snack when you get home from school. 
Okay, go get your pajamas on really quick. Hurry, run. Those clothes are dirty, but you're not dirty. Okay, my phone um, is defective, which is fantastic because the white ones are not in stock in any location. So that's why it took a week and a half for me to get it when it should have taken three days. I'm looking for Caesar dressing. Where is our Caesar? Caesar dressing. So they ha I have to take it to the Verizon store today, tomorrow morning after the girls go on the bus. They're going to attempt to put a new SIM card into the phone. And if that doesn't work, then the phone itself is defective. And get this. This is the best part that they better honor. Because the, the Verizon guy that I just talked to, he was like, you hold them to this. Because even if they don't have a white one in stock in their store, and it's going to take the same amount of time to get a new one delivered to you, one, you can request for expedited shipping to get it to you sooner. So even if they were pulling it from a warehouse or whatnot, wherever this one came from, he said, not only that, but because of the, the type of order and the type of account we have, and we have like the warranty and like all the stuff, they can actually request it to come from Apple itself. They can request this to come directly from Apple, overnighted, expedited, on, in the store next morning, and I can just go and pick it up. And if they, don't, if they don't hold true to that, then I don't even know what's gonna happen. But I have everything transferred to my new phone. This is gonna be such a long video, and I'm terribly sorry but I have everything transferred to the new phone. So it's kind of a pain because I didn't want to like undo it and transfer it all back to the old one anyway. It's just kind of a big pain. So I'm just leaving it unactivated for the night. I have access to everything on Wi-Fi. I can text message on Wi-Fi and I can like look at like things online, but I'm probably just gonna use my laptop. And then go th first thing in the morning. Like, I don't even know. Weird first day of school and not what I wanted to spend my entire day doing, but that's life. I'm gonna go make dinner and I'm probably gonna sign off because I need to be back on a game schedule for tomorrow. And I kinda hate when school starts on a Tuesday because then the second day of school is late start. And it's kind of a laugh in the face to parents. Like, haha, you got so excited about sending your kids back to school. Guess what, they're not gonna be gone as long tomorrow. <laughs> Here, have them back at one o'clock in the afternoon. So, I'm gonna sign off. Wish me luck tomorrow with my phone. I will update you, I'm almost positive. Ashley is trying to decide on her outfit for tomorrow. This is Very cute. Did the pants get clean? Yeah, they are. Perfect. Pajamas on. More focused on what she's wearing tomorrow. We're gonna sign off, take care. Wish me luck with my phone. Bye.